Look at all the dirt and grime inside these fruits and veggies. Just, just we blessing it and we cleaning it. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Untapped Healing, where we help you tap into your healing potential. In today's episode, I'll be sharing with you my ritual that I do when I go and I grab my produce from the store, when I grab my fruits from the store, so that not only are my fruits clean after this process is done, but they know that they are loved. We have to really make sure that our fruits, our vegetables, they, they know that we're loved. Because if they know that they are loved, then they will give you love. Because this isn't this isn't this isn't an apple. This is this is like that's what we call it, but this is divine energy. It's divine energy. These these aren't these aren't pears. This is this is just divine energy. It's like I'm I'm not a human. I'm just divine energy. So we gotta make sure that we are sharing this energy and we are making sure that we are sharing this love energy with what we'll be consuming while making sure that they're clean. Cause yeah, I mean, during the farmer process, it probably got a little bit of dirt and stuff on it. Even though it's organic, it's like you wanna make sure you get all of that off and you wanna make sure that your produce is feeling loved. Let's get into it guys. This is phase one guys. Phase one is making sure that you have the holiest of holiest of water. So if you guys wanna join me in this process of taking care of your fruits and veggies, make sure you get your hands on the holiest of holiest of waters. Whatever is the best water you can get your hands on. I have my distillers here. I always have them going before I go grocery shopping. So by the time I get back, they are ready to go. So make sure you have your water ready to go and then introduce it to your divine energy that you'll be cleaning. Let's get into phase two. So what I like to do first is just run a little bit of water in the bowls just to like rinse out anything that might be in there. Then I like to pour like a good amount, like a, a good proportion between all of the bowls. Cause you guys are saying, Wale, well, like, how do you have all this time to do this? It's like, you gotta make time for what matters. Cause we only have time for what we make time that matters. And 100% divine energy matters. All the water is poured in. Still do their thing. Thanks again, Distiller. I appreciate you. Yes, yes. What we want to do now is make sure that we have the, the cleaning product that we'll be using for our fruits and veggies in there. What I just did, I poured the rest of this apple cider vinegar in these bowls, but you could use anything. You could use citric acid, you could use distilled vinegar, but I usually use apple cider vinegar, something about fermented apples and all of the lovely probiotics found inside of it that I'd rather just use to clean my fruits and veggies. So phase two, choose your cleaning. Phase three, bless your fruits, bless your water, bless everything, give it, give it your love. Because if you are truly grateful, if you're truly grateful for everything that you have received, then give it your love. Very simple. These are short prayers. These are short, these are short messages of love to your divine energy. You want to be grateful for everyone who has cultivated this divine energy. You want to be grateful for the nutrients that it is, is going to give you. Like when I when I sit to say my prayer, like I'm just I'm envisioning it from seed form to, to fruit form. And, and, and the tree that it came from, or the bush that it came from, we gotta respect the process and we have to show appreciation for the process because some people don't, some people aren't allowed this, this fortune. Like we have grocery stores so readily around us and in other countries, it's, it's not like that. We gotta respect the process, we gotta be grateful for the process and we gotta show love to the divine energy that we'll be consuming. Gotta show love to the pears. Oh my goodness, the pears. Oh my gosh. Tomatoes, peppers, squash. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Gotta be grateful for the kale. Gotta be grateful for the kale. 
cut a whole video on Kale. You gotta understand. You gotta be grateful for all the divine energy on this table. You gotta be grateful for it all. And that is all. Now that I, I, I said a short message of love to all of the divine energy that will be in consumption this week, I wanna make sure that the water is also blessed so that when it gets introduced into the water, that it knows that it will be clean. So I always say a short message of love to the water as well. Now we'll get into the cleaning process. Show, show gratitude and, 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 and show love to all the divine energy. And, and this doesn't even take too long, guys. This, none of that took long. You just have to show appreciation because it doesn't take long for you to show appreciation. But what you get back in return is abundant because you get what you give. Give love. And that is all. Let's get into it, guys. It no, it no longer needs that. Oh, but yeah. Definitely make sure that you guys get the ones with nines. Nine, four, then you know it's organic. Anything that starts with the four, three, six, anything else that doesn't start with the nine, that means that it is not organic and that means it has pesticides. So we are grateful that this doesn't have pesticides in it, but we wanna make sure that it also gets blessed. So what we do, what I typically do, I leave these in here for at least 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, I get the next batch going and I keep these on plates. I'll hyperlapse this for you guys so that you can understand what's going on on a, on a, on a fast pace. <laughs> And that's all today, folks. I hope you guys learned something new. And please understand that gratitude is the only attitude. If you want healing in your life, you gotta give it. And if you want your fruits and veggies to taste better, taste sweeter, then you gotta give the love. You gotta make sure that you are generating that for them so that they can give that back to you. Thanks again for tuning in, and I hope to see you on the next one. Got to, got to. Let's get it.